just want to talk a little bit about one little trick that I use when jacking up my bus. Now, this is for split window buses. I am not any familiar at all with bay window uh, versions of this. It's probably very similar. But I want to talk a little bit about one of the little things that I have that my uncle showed me uh, some time ago, and I've used it since. First of all, let's talk a little bit about this jack. This is the jack that lives in my bus. It is one of my favorite jacks that I have. I don't know what brand it is. If anybody can read that or knows what that is. It's just a one and a quarter ton, not a big massive jack, but I like it because it's not super heavy. The handle is attached to it, so guess what? That never gets lost. It folds down so it doesn't isn't always in your way. And to adjust it when you you've got the hydraulic up, you don't have to turn the handle. It has a foot lever. You can push down and that drops the hydraulic down. The other really cool thing is the handle's super skinny. So if you need to put a pipe over it, uh, it's not a very big diameter. So that's a couple of really cool things about that jack. I paid 15 bucks for that at a garage sale years ago. And it's been one of the best purchases I've ever made. The other thing that I have on that jack, I'm actually going to roll that right over here. Hang on just a sec. Sorry, noisy. I have on it, get the handle out of our way, one of these. These came with my Mini Cooper. If you don't have one of these, go on Amazon. I actually don't even know what they are called. They're just a, a they're a chalk. A wheel chalk and they have a bear claw tooth on them and then teeth back here that grab they fold flat and then when you want to chalk your wheel they just work like that so you would put the tire put the tire here against it these are amazing they work great they take up very little room and so I always just keep one folded right here in the jack really good convenient place and obviously when I'm jacking up the car I'm going to take that out. Uh, you could probably put a couple magnets on it and just attach it right there. But I keep that. I keep this jack and one other little trick up my sleeve. I keep this. This is just a four by six piece of wood. I don't even know how long it is. Roughly probably what 14, 16 inches something like that. Let's see. 15. 15 inches long. There is a two inch hole cut in the middle of it. That hole is approximately three quarters of an inch back from the front. On the front of it, I have two markings where the edges of that hole are, where it lives. And I brought the tape out because I wasn't sure how deep it was. Uh, just a little over an inch and a half. So, why do we care about this and why is it important? when you're gonna jack up the front end of a Volkswagen bus. Well, let's get under there and I'll show you. So hopefully you can see okay. And yes, that is ice in the carport underneath there. We're going for that guy right there. That's essentially your steering box. On the, uh, on the Beatles, it's very obvious that it's a steering box. And I'm kind of going at an angle because I've got the trailer behind me. As you can see, I can see my two marks where my edge of my two inch hole is. And I'm just going to line that up. Obviously, you would want the jack straight. Your tie rod right here is going to clear that because I told you to put it three quarters of an inch, remember? Hopefully that's in focus for you. If it's not, I'll come back out and redo it. Just gonna make sure that we're straight. If you have room and I'm not trying to work around what I'm trying to work around. So you can see we're right lined up where our holes are. Right in there, there we go. Right there. I just wiggled the back of the jack. Straighten our board out so that we don't hit our tie rod. And we're right on it. 
adjust it just a little bit more. Now we're behind it. I'm gonna give two really good cranks on this and then move you where you can see. How that bar, that tie rod bar, will just drop out of our way. There we go. Now, can everybody see that? Let me move you in a little closer. Here we are up underneath, and we are locked in on the steering box. Whoops, sorry. Right up here. I can get my fingers behind this block and my tie rod. And I have a good, stable jack support all the way across my axle beam. And it's locked right there, so it's not going to jump off of the jack either. So this is what I use. I keep this. This little board here lives underneath the back seat of my double cab. And I do realize that those have seat boxes, easy for storage, but real simple solution how to jack up a VW bus. One of the things you can do is flip this over when you want to jack it up on the back side. You put it right underneath the transmission there at that cross member support and you can jack up using the same piece of wood from back there. So that is a quick and dirty easy little tool for you to make to make it super simple and a lot safer. So in the double cab, this little block just lives right here in the corner. You can see I've had it out of there because the seat's not back down all the way. But when I just got it out earlier. So I just tuck it right there where it's super convenient for me to get to when I need it. And uh, that's where it stays. So it fits perfectly. You could cut, stand to cut it probably a little shorter if you're going to make one so that it'll fit, tuck up under the seat. But what I told you whatever height that one was, 14, 15 inches, fits perfectly fine under there. So I just stand it up in there, right there, where it is. Hopefully I don't hit a bump too hard. Whoever's sitting back there might, uh, might bottom out. Oh well, they'll learn not to sit there. I don't know if anyone wants a part number off of that. You could probably go to the junkyard and get these for about five bucks. I have no idea what they are on Amazon. This one came out of my car. Uh, 71.12-1507292 is the number on it. And again, this came out of an 03 Mini Cooper. You definitely need some of these. Real simple design. Wish I'd have thought of it. So, Aaron was out at an antique store, junk store, recently. And found that. How cool is that? In Indiana, they let you run... Uh, the tag of your title. So, Old Pickle has a license plate. It's in excellent shape. It's in better shape than the truck. It wasn't cheap, but 58s are kind of hard to come by.